let's just talk a bit about the agency operating model. What I want to understand in your perspective, I mean, you've worked with the large um, media outfits out there. Um, what I want to know from your perspective, is the operating model um, fit for purpose in the new world? And where do you see some of the gaps and opportunities in terms of around inefficiency, given that you've come from that ecosystem in your experience? <clears throat> it's uh, difficult to generalize uh, on this question because different companies will have different uh, gaps, okay? Um, I would say that uh, clients uh, are, uh, or marketers are no longer interested to have uh, a generalist service, okay? What they need is uh, what they can uh, produce on their own or the, what they cannot produce at low cost through the utilization of all those layers that actually have left but are out there and are providing the freelance uh, services or small companies have been formed and so on. So when I look at uh, the operating companies uh, in, within a group, uh, what uh, actually is important is to create those uh, um, partnership and association uh, so that are uh, um, helping clients uh, to derive a real value in their value chain, okay? So add value to their value chain. Um, this is one of, uh, I mean, it's not a secret that uh, WPP is using the team structure by making sure that actually the right people get put against the right challenge. Uh, and that's a great model, for example, for uh, adding value to customers. You were pointing out something before while you were introducing this section, which is lots of layers have, have been uh, let go. Um, but I think that's an opportunity for, you know, for, for the companies to lower their cost, but it's also a risk because uh, a lot of uh, the layers that have been let, let go are uh, not necessarily the lower layers, but are the senior layers, okay? Because clearly this is where the cost is, okay? But this is also where the knowledge is, okay? So, you know, a, a, you know, a marketer actually is interested in, uh, in the services of a marketing group because of the knowledge that they can bring to the table and the knowledge of the experience, what has worked in the past, what didn't work in the past, uh, what the future, you know, uh, can uh, look, at, what can we learn in order to implement, uh, you know, the right uh, strategies in the future. Um, there is unfortunately, in my opinion, a lot of uh, focus on, uh, uh, yeah, we need to keep the young, smart uh, tech guys that can uh, uh, develop, uh, you know, a, a site or an application, which is very important, is extremely important, but I think you need to find the right balance between the two, okay? Um, and I think uh, some companies are doing better than others at this, okay? Um, the, real, the, real, the real risk, and this is actually, I think, what is driving uh, marketers to buy more of the production services, digital production services, factory services, rather than, uh, um, rather than uh, let's say, the value that can come from the experience and the knowledge, okay, uh, is, is just uh, driven by the fact that uh, there is a race uh, to the bottom to a certain extent is in, in terms of, uh, you know, the level of expertise, which is into those organizations in order to recover margin. But as I said, this is really the problem. The problem is uh, uh, in these phases, it is important to end to the volume for a service provider. Uh, at the same time for marketers, it is important to keep the investment on because clearly, in a situation where less people are investing, your share of your actual share of voice is much higher. Okay, uh, so I think that uh, what uh, what uh, the logic or what or actually what the instinct would suggest reduce cost and reduce advertising investment is probably not uh, necessarily what needs to be done only at least. Okay, because uh, you also are confronted with an opportunity where there is more silence, your voices are better. Okay where uh, there is uh, the requirement of uh, uh, senior advice because uh, this is a real uh, troubled situation, you know, your company can be perceived as a real partner for uh, a marketer. So, you know, no, it's not black or white. You need to find the right balance and the right combination. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.